Let us read the thirteenth question. A die is thrown once. Find the probability of getting first bit, a prime number, second bit, a number lying between two and six, third bit, an odd number. Moving on to the solution. Total number of possible outcomes when the die is thrown equals to six, which are one, two, three, four. Five and six. We know that probability of any event p of e equals to number of outcomes favorable to event e whole divided by total number of outcomes. Now let's see the first bit. Let e be the event of getting prime number. Number of outcomes favorable to event E equals to three, which are two, three, and five. We know that total number of outcomes equals to six. Then we have probability of event E p of E equals to number of outcomes favorable to E, which is three, whole divided by total number of outcomes that is eight. Here. Three is common factor of both numerator and denominator. Three goes in three one times. Three goes in six two times. Therefore, the probability of getting a prime number is one divided by two. Now, moving on to the solution for the second bit. Let f be the event that number lies between two and six. Then we have number of outcomes. Favorable to event F equals to three, which are three, four, and five. Then probability of event F p of F equals to number of outcomes favorable to event F, which is three, whole divided by total number of outcomes that is six. Here three is common factor of both numerator and denominator. Three goes in three one times. Three goes in six two times. Therefore, the probability of getting a number lying between two and six is one divided by two. Now, moving on to the third bit, let G be the event of getting an odd number. Number of outcomes favorable to event G equals to three. Which are one comma three and five. Then we have probability of event G p of G equals to number of outcomes favorable to G, which is three, whole divided by total number of possible outcomes, that is six. Here three is common factor of both numerator and denominator, so three divided by six is half. Therefore. The probability of getting an odd number is one divided by two.